Hey beauties, good uh, afternoon to you. So, you know, I was doing my devotion this morning and I was looking on the uh, daily word of the U versions Bible. Because, you know, when you use the U version, you have different translations and so on. So, I like to use it, you know. And uh, um, I read this morning, and I'm going to paraphrase, and it's Luke 6 38, and most people are aware of it. You know, it's one of the popular ones, like oh, you would have John 3, 16. And it says, give, and it will be, you know, basically given unto you, sort of, you know, I don't think it's a press down, shaken together, running over. I can't recall if it's that specific one. But it says, um, at the end of that particular verse, in Luke 6, 38, it says, the measure you use, so the measuring stick you use when you're giving somebody something, whether it is money or kind, or how you treat people, it's the same measuring stick that God is going to use back to you. Exactly. So whatever you give. So if, for example, let us say somebody is in need and they come to you and they say, boy, I mean, they don't have to get into their situation, but they probably give you a synopsis and they're in a difficulty and they say, can you lend me or can you give me $200,000? We're going to use a big figure. And you're able to, it's not going to hurt you, it's not going to put you out. Um, and you use probably excuse, though every time I lend people don't give me back. I'm not saying that you must use wisdom, but you know what, people? We all disappoint people at times, and times people disappoint us. So it makes no sense that we, we bask in disappointment. In other words, as one man said, somebody was saying about a man, the people he he will give to people, lend to people, they don't give him, but him, he still continues to give because it's in his nature. He developed that character to give. And let me tell you, he will never lose. His store, his basket will never be empty. It will never run dry. And you're not going to be foolish, obviously, you know, but you have the, you, it's in your strength or you have the ability rather to give the 200 or to lend the 200. And they said, no, that person is not worth it or no, why should I give that person 200? You're crazy. 200, you know how much money that is? And one holy but excuses after excuses. And you probably you might give them $5,000. There's going to come a time when there's something that you need and you may need it. It could be a health crisis situation and you need to get all the medication, everything that is required and you only get one or you get a piece. Um, you, one day you may need a million dollars and somebody only gives you a hundred thousand dollars you follow what i'm saying and it always comes at a time when it's really and truly needed so it's like an inopportune time when you don't get it it comes at an inopportune time your tragedy your calamity whatever it is because people no matter how wealthy you are you're going to be in need people only look at it from direct finance it may not necessarily be that it may be something that is i mean just as how finance is important so maybe to do with your health or family and you need it and the very measuring stick that you had issued out to the person when you did not give them the two hundred thousand or lend them when you could have it's the same measuring stick that god is going to measure out you remember he says he rathers heaven and earth to pass away than his word to go void he has put his word above his name that's how serious God takes his word. So he cannot lie. So you have to. So, it, you know, I was, I watch um, Country Wayne skits, you know. And one day, I think it was Shannon Sharp who was interviewing him. And he said, let me tell you something. One of the guys, Mike Bliss, that is now, he's now a producer on the show. Uh, not, well, he uh, directs skits, sorry. You know, and he says, Mike is now, I think he told him how much he pays pays him like oh he's now at a hundred thousand dollars per month and he feels good saying it he's saying it with joy you know and we're talking us dollars with you you know that is in the millions in terms of jamaican and i think maybe i don't know if a beginner actor or the actresses maybe they get like fifteen thousand dollars per week that's still a lot of money and he says he's happy to give he says he wouldn't mind my arm uh, might getting more money because he realizes in his own life the more he gives out the more god gives back to him so him say I'm glad, you know, he was joyous in saying that he's giving to the man because he knows he will get back. And it's not a matter of only just giving to receive. He has been through difficult times. He has 10 children. He has to ensure that their legacy lives, his legacy lives on and they're 
okay it's 10 10 of them so i can understand that he wants to make sure he sows a fertile seed in a fertile soil that lasts because i mean it's 10 children you know he's still fairly young he doesn't look it you know a lot of, he said he knows he looks older than he really is 36 years old because i really when i first saw him i thought he was older you know but the point that he's making is that it is he follows the word to the T, whether it's for this reason or that reason. And I think he's he's happy in giving, you know. And he doesn't give sparingly. He gives as though he's giving to himself. Sometimes he will run joke and don't like to, you know, let it go. But he will let it go. He said, I'm happy to give, Mike, because I know I prove it. That the more I give, the more God blesses me. And it mean, and even if it doesn't come in terms of the physical cash right away, whatever he's doing for you is going to make that physical cash come in abundance in abundance you look good you look youthful you're happy you become happier when you don't give you're really not happy sometimes people can't pinpoint why they're why they're not happy they can't pinpoint they have money they're seemingly well off you are mean stingy not generous so just know the same measuring stick you give to people and you can't trick God. You, you might say, oh, I'm give, I gave to the poor, I went to, that's good. The Bible says give to the poor, but it also says give to the needy. And a lot of people only think needy are people who are indigent, you know, the suffering and, uh, and so on. It's, they were part of it, but you have people who probably, they're working, but things just, you know, they're just falling hard times for a moment. You know, Les Brown, it was a prime example of that. He said he fell on hard times for a while. Had to hide from creditors. So it's not a matter of, you know, sometimes we say, no, we want to curse people off and say, you, you put yourself in that position, you're not a good steward. So what? You weren't good at something that you wanted, you know, understanding and patience and God's forgiveness on. Extend it to the person, even though that may not be your weakness. But you have a weakness that the person can look on and say, boy, that weakness is a horrible one. Even worse than the one that I have. So be mindful. If somebody comes to you and asks for help and you only give sparingly, that's exactly how God is going to, you know, in terms of what you're going to reap, you're going to reap sparingly. So give, fight, you have to dig that up. It's not natural to give because we were born in sin and shaped in iniquity. It, we are naturally selfish. It's easy to say, no, it's easy to not give. But I've seen in life, where people who don't give to their ability to what they can actually do, they end up regretting it. Things that something is life is a cycle, it's gonna spin back around and hit you. It's a boomerang. So God says the same measure you measure out to people. You could have given two hundred, but you only give five thousand. All right, something is gonna come up where you're going to need a million or two, desperately even more than the person who needed the two hundred. A more dire situation. And probably somebody only give you a hundred thousand that can't even scratch the surface. So the same measuring stick you issue out is the same measuring stick. So better you follow country win, give, force yourself, start there until it becomes natural, until you feel and you will feel good giving. You will feel good. It feels rusty because as I said, we were born in sin, we were shaped in iniquity. It is not natural. We're innately selfish by nature. Joyce Mayer said she had a, an expensive, beautiful red dress. She wasn't wearing it. And like the Holy Spirit said, give it to such and such a person. She said, no, I can't give that person my expensive dress. And every time she saw the dress, that's what came to her. And she realized, oh my goodness. She finally gave, gave in, sorry. She finally gave in. Couldn't believe it. It happens to the best of us. And it's not that she's a mean person. She's probably given out monies and things that far cost far more than a dress. But for some reason, that selfish nature just rose its ugly head. And she had to conquer it by saying, I will, you know, through, you know, determination and saying, you know what? I should know better. God owns the world. What is this? This red dress is like a piece of lint or bottle cap, cork or cap. And she gave it to the lady and the lady wore it well and really loved it. Give to the best of your ability. That's how God will be. And you know that when he blesses, he doesn't give back the same. Double and triple and full and Come on, man. Come on. Give. And when you give money, it speaks to 
who you are really. Guys, follow me on TikTok, subscribe to my YouTube channel, share this message.